Hello, and welcome to this film, which is all about the practical called identifying metal carbonates. So we're going to need some metal carbonates in this experiment, and they are kept in three um, marked jars, but the jars are only marked with the letters A, B, and C, so that you don't know what metal carbonate is in each one. Um, you're going to need some hydrochloric acid and a 50 mil measuring cylinder to dispense that with. You're going to need a conical flask that has got a cotton wool bud in the top. You'll need a balance and a small plastic weighing boat to weigh your solids out in. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is to measure out 20 millilitres of the 3 mole per litre hydrochloric acid using your measuring cylinder. Now beware with this acid, it is quite concentrated so we're going to try not to spill it and if we do we're going to try and make sure that we clean those spills up as quick as we can. So be really careful when you're pouring your acid into your measuring cylinder. About 20 millilitres but it's not essential to be very precise about this. So if you take a little bit more or a little bit less that's absolutely fine. Once you've got your acid in your measuring cylinder you can pour it into your conical flask so remove the cotton wool plug and pour all that acid into your measuring into your conical flask like so. Now what's going to be happening in this experiment is that the carbonates that we put into our acid are going to react with the acid and give off carbon dioxide. So before we do it we want to make sure that the acid is saturated with carbon dioxide because otherwise it's going to absorb some of it and the carbon dioxide won't escape. Okay so what we're going to do before we um, react each carbonate with the acid is we're just going to put a small amount of the carbonate into the acid. So let's say I was using carbonate A, I'll just put a small amount as in just half a spatula four or so, okay? It really isn't very much. So you're going to remove the cotton wool plug from your flask and just drop your carbonate in there and wait until it's stopped reacting with the acid. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to weigh out two grams of your carbonate using the balance and the weighing boat. Now two grams of each of these carbonates is around about two spatulas full. Okay, so you want to be very careful when you're weighing these things out. You want to put your weighing boat on the balance, reset the balance, and then carefully place about two spatulas full of solid onto your weighing boat, like so. The closer the jar is to the weighing boat, the less likely you are to spill the powder all over the balance. They don't like that, okay, so be really careful. Okay, and we just want to get as pretty close to 2 grams, doesn't have to be exact, around about 1.9 to 2.1 will be fine. So if you spend a long time trying to get it to exactly 2 grams, you'll just block up the balance and no one else will be able to use it. Now before you place your solid into your acid, it's important to know how much the solid and the acid weigh together. Okay, because what you're going to try and do here is see how much weight is lost when the solid reacts with the acid. I think the simplest way to do that is to place both of the things on the balance together and to record how much they weigh together. Right? You can then take your flask off the balance. You can carefully, carefully, carefully try not to spill any of it. Pour your solid out of the weighing boat into the flask. This can be a little bit tricky. So it's sometimes good if you squash the weighing boat a little bit so you can't spill it so easily. Now it's nice if you can get the um, cotton wool plug back on here before it's all finished reacting, just because the cotton wool plug is going to stop any spray escaping. But that is quite a difficult thing to do um, because the reaction is quite fast. Once all your solid is finished reacting, so you can't see any of it left, you just need to put everything back on the balance, so that includes the weighing boat, right? And you can now see how much weight it lost. And that weight that it lost will be down to the carbon dioxide that it gave off. So once you've carried out that procedure for one carbonate, you then just do it for the other two carbonates using a fresh 20 millilitres of acid each time. Everything that you've used today can just be poured down the sink. Okay, and once you've finished, if you could just make sure that there's any powders that have been spilt inside the balance, just get put in the bin. 
and any spillages on your desk just get cleaned up as quickly as possible. Give everything a good rinse out and put it back where you got it from today. And as usual, if you've got any questions about this method or you're not sure what you're going to be doing, please make sure you ask your teacher before you start.